but I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I kind of want to do it, but that just sounds like so bloody difficult that I don't want to do it. But, you know. If he convinces me, then I'll do it. But who knows? I'll probably get so bloody upset with the game that I don't even want to play it anymore. I'll probably just go, like, end it soon. Like, just end that playthrough, like, really quickly. Just get to, like, the gargoyles and be like, dude, fuck this. I'm not even playing. <laughs> oh, he parried me. Wow. I didn't expect him to be able to parry me when I hit the wall. Fuck you, Mulder. Yeah, these guys drop Titanite Shards, and Titanite Shards are used to upgrade your uh, weapons. But I want to deal with this Channeler before I do much of anything. That guy right there. Weird he's not doing his dancing mumbo-jumbo. Usually he dances around and casts a thing on him. Watch him do it now. Oh yeah, I forgot their tridents do that. And that you could levitate. Chandler is pretty cool. You know, we'll see if we can fight these gargoyles. Press the sun. March soul. I'll have eight. And if it comes down to it, I still have five humanity. I can put on this pine resin. That parry was not auto kill, thank god. I could go fight La Trek, but I don't really want to do that right now. Although the Ring of Favor protection would be really helpful in this part. But he's so, like, he can be so difficult at times, and I need to be able to sub his lair. So, no, not going to do it. Not yet. Afterwards, I'll just probably kick him off the mountain and do it. But in this playthrough, he's just so bloody difficult. Like, he can just... Mm. Oh, I thought the game froze. I was about to be pissed. But yeah, he can fuck your shit up. But if you go save him, then his summon side will appear over there. But otherwise, if you just talk to Solaire, his is obviously right here. Night Solaire. Just take a drink of this real quick. Make sure I have full health walking in. Go on, Solaire. Basically, they just came alive. That gargoyle came alive and came down. So that's what happened. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip that. Already got that tail axe. Damn, okay, thanks, that's fair. Wow. I, I I tell you, these gargoyles, they're like the hardest thing in the world for me for some reason. I can't even explain it, but I'll just pop in, and they'll just be like, yeah, I'm just gonna do this attack and this attack, and you're dead. I don't know why I always have so much difficulty with them. I can summon again. I don't know if uh, Lutrak will appear since I walked over there started the battle so maybe he'll be here and I can just boot him off real quick um nope disappointing disappointment <laughs> otherwise I would just go out there and push him off the ledge and uh, take his ring that he gives me
called the Ring of Favor and Protection. It'll increase my health and my capacity, my weight capacity. Equip load capacity, if you will. I kind of want to see if I can get a Balder Shield real quick. Oh, of course. God damn it. Would aggro two of them. Luckily, I killed him in one shot, so. Makes things a lot easier. I would try to kick him, but for some reason, I have the worst luck with kicking, and I'll always do a front, like an attack instead. He'd probably just parry me and kill me. I'll go back down there later. Please don't let me get baited right as I like walk over here. Luckily though, I have really bad internet connection. So most of the time people can't even connect and I don't get how that... Buckler does not have 100% protection, so I don't know how he didn't take any damage off of that. This one is always really buggy. It's always one, like the very last one that always comes up here. He's always really glitchy and like, he's like vibrating. You'd think he was like a regenerator from like Resident Evil 4. By the way, Resident Evil 4, uh, Super Hyper Championship HD Edition or whatever is coming out. Don't know if I'll get that. If I get it though, I'll definitely play through it and record it. Yep, inside of Solaire. Let's put this on here real quick. Hopefully this time we'll have more luck. There you go. Listen to that boss battle music though, it's great. This one's a weaker, I think. Yeah, it seemed to be. See, at that time we had a lot more luck. Victory was achieved. Got twin humanities and the sunlight medal. Ten thousand souls, which won't be using any of that for one simple reason. We need twenty thousand souls, which I will go grind for that, probably by myself, and then go grind. I'll probably show you to the area, go fight the one of the bosses that's there. Yeah, but. 
I remember my new game plus when I went to that area because there's like a forest you can go to and you can grind. It's one of the best grinding areas, but you can't do a human because if you do a human, you'll get invaded like lickety split. But there was uh, this one playthrough I did where I went over to new game plus and I don't think there's any talking in this cutscene. But when you I went over to new game plus. I went to that forest, and there's two bosses there. There's one called the Moonlight Butterfly, and you can fight it, like, anytime you want. It's a completely optional boss. You never have to face it. And then there's another one, which isn't optional, called Sif, which Sif you wouldn't fight until after you went to An Orlando, which, you know, would be much later in the game. Um, but I went ahead and fought uh, Sif, and Moonlight Butterfly at the very beginning of New Game Plus, and I beat them both, and it's pretty great, pretty great feeling. Um, it's interesting. Hi, Oswald. Oh, we're not going to talk to him. Basically, he just relieves your sins. That's basically his only real helpful thing that he does, <laughs> honestly. It's kind of sad that he's has real no importance. Kind of sad. I need to talk to Dakota in a little bit. What time is it? It's like... Let me turn around. As soon as little after two now, so I've been recording for probably like 40, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that. 30 or 40. Um, so, I'm going to get down here, go back to the blacksmith, and actually I'll go kill uh, Latrec real quick. He gives a decent amount of souls, and he gives a lot of humanity. All the, human all the huge man titties, or huge manatee. Whatever way you want to go with on that. I'm going to go run over here real quick. I'm not going to fight the or go to the area, but I just want to get this key. Um, so if you go this way, there's two things you can do over here. One, if you continue walking up there, there's that nest. And if you lay down in it long enough, uh, the crow will come over there and take you, that crow. And he'll take you to, uh... Oh, I thought I would kill him. Uh, but he'll he'll take you back to that under asylum where the beginning of the game was. And, uh, if you go back there, there's a optional boss known as Stray Demon. He drops a Titanite Slab, which the Titanite Slab is, uh... It's used as the final upgrade for lightning and regular weapons. It's the final thing you'll do. And here's Lutrec. Let's talk to him real quick. Hello. I don't think we've met. I am Knight Lutrec of Karim. We're both undead. Well, perhaps we can help one another. <laughs> hmm. What business do you have? If you have none, then stay silent. He's being an ass, so let's just... Crap. Good thing that didn't... Got him. Awkward. Alright, so now I have to do this stupid thing, which I hate having to do it, but I gotta quit the game. I have to wait through these loading screens because we're not playing on an X, uh, on PS3. Because PS3 seems to be the only console where it just skips this. It goes straight back to the menu. And I don't know why. Why PS3? Why can't Xbox or PC do it? If it does it, why don't they all? You know, that kind of thing. But, start back up. We're going to load back into the game. And a little helpful thing is that when you load back in after killing Lotrek... That was weird. Okay, I, I don't know if you guys saw that. I'll explain in a second. Ring of Favor and Protection. And five huge man cities. But, put this on. Look at our things. It boosts my health by about 130. And my equip load was that. So about 10. And my stamina by 20. So, that. But, if you take it off, it'll uh, break. So, now I can do more stuff, which I'm actually going to put back on the old Balder armor and show that I can no longer fat roll. Uh, but, thing was, when I spawned in, it showed a white thing here. 
Um, that thing, was, it was an item, and it disappeared. But basically what happens is if you leave Lautrec here, he goes over here and he kills her and keeps the and keeps the firekeeper soul that you used to upgrade the Estus flasks. And the, an item is left, and it's called and it's like a, an orb. Uh, it's a, like a black eye orb or something like that. Um, but when you kill, uh, when you pick it up, when you go get to a certain point in the game, it'll activate and it'll send you over to Lautrec's world. And you have to you invade him and fight him, and it's a cool little thing, but I, I just thought that that was really weird that it spawned. You know. No how with these. Okay, so that's where I'm going to end it for today. It's pretty fun getting back into here and playing a little bit. Uh, I think we got a lot done. Could, went through the entire Undead Parish, and now I just got to grind off screen probably, and then go fight the Moonlight Butterfly. So yep, I will see you guys uh, later.